With the world gone viral in the past year, we thought it was about time the world was given the tools to enhance the daily grind of video conferences, meetings, and calls. Introducing Boom. Today I will present to you our app which builds upon a variety of video call platforms through the power of AI. Our app is concentrated on the webcam, taking in the feed in order to modify it before shipping out the contents to your platform of choice. The main portion of our app was built upon the idea of preventing the countless of situations where someone leaves their computer but you still hear them or see them doing something, essentially disrupting the video call. This brings me to our first group of features, centralized around the idea of stopping your webcam in certain situations using AI. The first option is to simply block the webcam when the user is not in front of it, in case you know you forget to turn it off and you know we all have embarrassing moments we really don't want caught on camera. The second option was uh, built to prevent the virtual equivalent of being caught you know, sleeping in class. That's right, we built an AI that will detect you sleeping and it will automatically block your camera so your teacher won't notice you sleeping and you won't wake up to a viral video of you sleeping in class on TikTok. The next option was designed for parents who leave their computer and they have their children take over the video conferences while they're gone. Our app allows you to train a facial recognition model that will not stream your webcam feed unless you are present. Finally, for the webcam section, we give the user the option to change the blurred image to be either something more expressive or funky, or to allow you to make your teacher think you are having internet problems and are not actually sleeping in class. All of these options can be tied together with our next feature that allows the user to mute their microphone when their webcam is blocked, ensuring that your friends and colleagues won't hear your conversation with your mom about what is for supper. Boom also provides more functional tools centered around accessibility. Firstly, we have an option that is still in demo phase, of translating ASL into text, allowing people new ways of communicating between each other. We then have a tool that is perfect for your friends who claim they speak English, yet nobody understands the word they're saying. This tool will automatically translate everything you say to text and place it on your webcam feed for others to read. This brings me to our last assisted tool, which is essentially a reminder of how often you lose concentration because let's be real, who doesn't have another tab open with anything else open to distract you while someone else is just rambling on? Now let's quickly talk about our stack, which was mainly new technologies that provided us with a few struggles. Everything that had to do with the camera, we used a Python library called OpenCV, which made reading and editing webcam frames a lot easier, and we used it for a few cascades in order to help us with image detection. Then for the ASL deep learning model and a few others, we used TensorFlow and Google Cloud with the data set that we discovered on Kaggle. For the UI, we combined Electron and ReactJS together in order to create a cross-platform application. Finally, we connected our front end with our Python virtual camera and various AI models through Socket.io, with Python threading being somewhat new to us all, uh, and ended up being one of our hardest challenges we had to face. Thanks for listening to Boom, and go check out our dev post and GitHub.